What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new, my name is Brandon and I do all things Corolla related. So if you like that kind of stuff, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. But in today's video, I'm going to be putting in something basic. I mean, not super hard to do, but some hood struts or hood dampeners, whatever you want to call it. So since the Corolla, this generation Corolla didn't come with them, um, I might as well put them in so that way you don't need to use that manual hood latch thing to hold up your hood. So with all that being said, let's get started. All right, so looking at the box here, um, it's pretty simple. It just comes with some mountain hard mounting hardware to mount onto the car. And then this mounts to the the struts and then the struts clip into those. So, so with all that being said, let's turn this curl around and start installing these. All right, right now, as of now, I'm using the prop rod that comes with the car to hold up the hood whenever you're doing anything on the, under the engine. So, and with these, they just have the mounting hardware that will, that these I believe will mount somewhere over here. And then the other hardware will mount somewhere up on here. And then they just snap into place and then you don't need this prop rod anymore over here. So. I don't know why Toyota cheaped out so much on the Corollas, but they did. Like my 2016 Camry has them. Um, it's nice, but the Corollas don't. I don't even think newer Corollas even have a prop rod or not. If you guys have like a newer Corolla, I, like 2016 up, 2018 up, tell me if they actually come with these hood struts or not. If not, you guys, you guys like using this or does this get in your way sometimes? So I don't know. I'm just going to do it. It's just convenient not to have to prop it up anymore so let's get started and so like i said looking in here let's see so we get the two bottom brackets i believe and those are the two top brackets right here and then you get the rods that snap into it so um this doesn't come with any instructions or whatever so i'm just going to kind of guess on where i've seen the pictures so like i said i believe it's this hole right here pretty close to the headlight and then either one of these two holes here for the upper one so and if you guys are interested i ordered this off of amazon i'll be putting a link to this down below if you guys want to buy this so it was like 80 bucks they're actually a little bit pricier than i was expecting but i don't know just another basic mod that we can do to the corollas just have fun with them wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 All right, guys. So I just want to give you a quick update where I'm at. Um, I got one of these installed already. I just didn't. I wanted to get one installed before I actually showed you how to do one because I was actually a little confused on how to do it. Um, one thing I do want to mention too, wherever I put, there's, okay, yeah, so there's two brackets here, you got the small, oh, you got the one with the swivel ball on it, that's going to go on the bottom, and then you got the, like, L bracket with the two holes in it or whatever, that one's going to go onto the hood itself, and just remember, they are, like, left and right, so you can get them mixed up, so, the way I have it is... Um, so when I put this, the lower piece on, um, you can either, like, you can put them on both sides, but if you have it, say on this side, this is higher up than where I have mine at. So when you put it on the other side, I have it on the lower portion of it. So that's how I did that. And then, um, I'll show you the exact bolts in just a second where to mount them to. And then the other one bolts up to the 
the hood on the hood latch thing so i'll show you that as well but like i said there was no instructions and it was a little unclear of what where they went but it seems pretty good and it's actually i mean i don't even have the hood prop being used one is good enough to hold the hood up but it's not strong enough to um lift it up by itself so like if i if i like let it go it wants to fall but once it gets to a certain point it will want to lift itself up so once we get the other one installed it should want to lift itself up the entire way so let's get jumping on the other one real quick okay on the first bolt to mount the lower portion with the ball on it there's gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt right above the headlight bracket. So here's the headlight. There's a headlight bracket right here with the plastic. And then right above it is the 10 millimeter you're gonna take off. So just get a 10 millimeter socket. Just crack it loose. And then you're just gonna use the same bolt to bolt this back on. Flip it over. And just tighten it down. And now on the hood, hopefully you guys can see it. I did the top one. I don't know, you might be able to do the bottom one. Maybe we can mess with that and then see if one gives us a higher hood lift than the other one or not. I'll do the bottom one. This is a 12 millimeter. And then this really will only mount one way. You're gonna use this slot to put it in here. And then just put the bolt right through it. And then this one I found a little bit hard to keep straight. So the best thing that I did was um, just try to tighten this and then hold this with some pliers just to try to hold it straight. All right. We'll get our other hood strut here. And this one end that we're gonna connect here has a, a bolt on one side. So. I'm just gonna hand tighten that now and then will come in from the bottom here. And this quite doesn't line up with this. So we're gonna have to push up the hood a little bit more. And then this will move so that way you can look, push it in. And there's a clip on this. You're gonna to wanna to loosen it with a flathead screwdriver. Let's take a flathead screwdriver. There's like a notch in here already. Just try to pry it underneath it. I just want to just give a quick a quick mention on this product right here, Top Done. They've sent me out products before, so I just want to show you guys this product that's probably going to help a lot of people, so and including me. So they asked if I wanted to try out one of these, so and I said, yeah, sure, why not? Um, this is a jump pack, so a portable jump pack. So they give really good quality stuff. I've, like I said, I've used her stuff in the past, and this is practically all it is, is just a jump pack. Comes with a little nice carrying case that you can put in your car and just forget about it. Um, and like I said, it's just something you want to charge up and then just put in your car. And then just, if you ever have a bad battery or anything like that, or need to help someone else, you'll have this in your car. And all you gotta do is just plug in these jumper packs and then hook them up positive, negative. Turn on the jump pack and then you're good to go. So if you guys are interested in one of these, I'll be putting the links down below to this. Like I said, this also has a flashlight um, and it has a thing to charge your phones and everything like that. So this is like a must have thing in your car if you use your car all the time, just in case if you accidentally get stranded or something like that, you don't have to wait for a tow truck to help you jump start your car. Just having one of these ready to go and you'll never have to worry about it. And so thanks again for Top Done. If you guys are interested, I'll be putting links down below.
All right guys, so finally after trying like every single combination on what bolt to use or whatever and which way to put these struts at, I think I finally found the best way to do it. So I'm gonna show you guys. Remember how I was telling you either you can use the bottom or the top bolt. Um, definitely recommend the top bolt. And should these be on the inside or on the outside of the bracket, definitely also re recommend it being on the outside because I spent like 15 minutes trying to figure out which way was which and a lot of times when you close the hood these these struts will rest on here and like push on your like trim up on the top here so and with them being in this location they touch it a little bit and you can tell that they move it but it's nowhere near as bad when it's on the opposite side or also too on here there's a bottom hole and a top hole. You're gonna wanna be on the top hole right here. So, like I said, I tried every single variation of the bottom bolt on the hood, the top bolt on the hood, in, out, everything like that, top, bottom, everything. This combination right here is probably the best. So that way nothing hits anywhere. So, and as you saw, it pulls up the hood really good. So you don't even need your thing anymore. And also to putting this up, um, it actually um, holds the hood up just a little bit higher than what your normal prop rod would do. So not anything better, but not anything worse. All right, you guys. Also, just to give you guys a tip when you're tightening these on this side, um, I'd recommend either have a second person or what I did was I used my head to like hold the hood up a little bit just to um, relieve pressure while you're tightening these bolts in here so because otherwise once you once the hood is resting on here it it's really hard to tighten those bolts all right you guys and with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you guys like this kind of content don't forget to smash that like button and i'll see you guys next time